Okay, so I'm doing an experiment here, and this may turn out to just be uh, no good, but we'll see. Maybe fodder for the blooper reel, but we'll see. Um, I've got some spent solution here. This is the, the liquid I have used to extract the base metals from IC chip remains after, you know, I've incinerated them, pulverized them. Uh, sluice them, whatever, you know, I, I treat it with nitric acid to dissolve the base metals. And I have extracted silver from this, so there's no, no significant silver left in it. It's basically just a waste product at this point. I would put it in my waste bucket. And it's mostly copper nitrate and other nitrates in there. Copper nitrate, ferric nitrate, who knows what other nitrates. I would put it in my waste bucket. The iron in there would uh, cement out the copper. Um, but I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try evaporating this stuff down slowly and see if I can get the um, nitrate compounds in there to just crystallize into solids. And I'll see if I can get some nitric acid back out of it by baking it in a retort and see if, uh, you know, I can recover some of my expensive nitric acid that went into making this stuff. So, we'll see how it works. It may not uh, work very well. Now, from what I'm reading, I don't want to get it too hot because, uh, like the ferric nitrate and some of the other nitrate compounds, will decompose if the temperature gets too high. So, this is just uh, warm. Not hot. Just warm. Um, I started this last night, and it was right at 2,000 milliliters. So, we've already evaporated away over 200 milliliters of the liquid. So, my plan here is to reduce the volume by at least half or two-thirds and then cool it and see what crystallizes out and then collect those crystals and then maybe continue evaporating down whatever liquid's left and see if I can get more crystals out of it. And then put that stuff in a retort or a distillation uh, apparatus, heat it up, should break down as it heats up and release nitric acid and um, nitrogen dioxide, which I should be able to run through water and make at least a dilute nitric acid out of, which I can use for dissolving more base metals in the future. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So this is probably going to take a few more days. I'm just going to leave it on warm heat. Alright, this has been on warm heat for a couple of days, just slowly evaporating away. As you can see, we're down to just above 800 milliliters, so I've reduced the volume by a little over half. So this is really concentrated now. So I think this is just, you know, it's just been on warm, and I think if I just turn the heat off now and let it sit, we should see something interesting happen. Because it is really chilly out here today, and it's going to get really chilly again tonight. In fact, it went below freezing last night. It's not supposed to get that cold tonight, but I think just turning the heat off on this, I don't think you even have to put it like in the fridge or the freezer or anything. I think a lot of stuff is going to crash out of solution. And we're going to have a lot of crystal growth in here. So we'll see what this looks like um, by tomorrow morning, if not a whole lot sooner. I think we're going to have a real crystal garden growing in there. And uh, it'll probably be mostly nitrate salts. So, we'll see. Okay, it's the next day. In fact, it's mid-afternoon the next day because I had a bunch of stuff I had to do this morning. So it got very cold last night. And just as I thought might happen, look at that. Not only did we get some crystals form, this thing's almost crystals all the way through. There's still some liquid in there. So I'm going to pour off that liquid that's left in there into a smaller beaker and I'm going to evaporate that and see if we can get more crystals out of it. And then I'll put these aside until I'm ready to do something with them. Well I knew this stuff was getting concentrated but I had no idea I'd wind up with a whole beaker full of crystals like this. This is, uh, yeah, this is amazing. You see how much liquid I can get out of here. Ooh, this stuff's like syrup. I'm sure it's still very concentrated in nitrate salts. Wow. Holy cow. Ooh. 
Will you look at that? Holy cow. Yeah, this stuff is like maple syrup. It's so thick. So, what I'm suspecting is in here is a lot of copper nitrate, first off. There's no doubt about that. Probably some ferric nitrate or ferrous nitrate. Nitrates of iron, okay? Um, nitrates of other base metals. And there's probably still at least a little bit of urea nitrate in here from my denoxing of this stuff. Because I pulled the silver out of this. I did that off camera. This was just a side project I was working on. It's just the remains from processing IC chips as I do and uh, I like to recover the silver too so I've already cemented the silver out of this stuff so there should not be any significant amount of silver nitrate in here and it just keeps coming but what I will do is I will put this liquid on low heat and let it continue to evaporate and I suspect we'll get a lot more crystals this way. And I've got all these nitrate salts now. I ought to be able to turn them back into nitric acid with a little luck. Get some of the expensive nitric acid back that I used to uh, process those chips and produce these crystals. All right. Let me have a... You see how consolidated this is? Oh, it's not consolidated at all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I can get the water to separate, or the liquid to separate from the crystals a little bit better if I do this. We'll see. I don't want to put any water in there. I'll clean off my stir rod over here. Okay. I'll let that sit and see if it'll settle. And I'm going to put this on to low heat and let it continue to evaporate. Alright, well this experiment has been literally going on for about two weeks now. Now, this is the beaker that I poured the excess liquid from this beaker into and started evaporating it down. Well, I lost about a hundred milliliters of volume out of it and then it just completely crystallized up solid. This one here seemed like it had some more liquid in it so I've been trying to evaporate it but nothing much was happening so I turned the heat on and what happened was the whole thing just melted basically into this blue sludge. I think what I've got going on here is I've got highly hydrated nitrate salts in here and uh, they probably have a fairly low melting point. So I don't really think I'm going to be able to um, get much more of this water out of these. I think I may just have to work with them as they are. When I put them in a retort and start cooking them, I just know I'll get a lot of water off in the beginning or weak nitric acid. And then uh, later on, as it dries out, I should get it, start getting some uh, stronger nitric acid out of it. That's my theory anyway. We'll see how it goes. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Must have been some sort of thermal runaway overnight. My goodness, look at that. And I mean, this was only, it's only warm. I only had the hot plate on very low warm, but yet something ran away once most of the uh, water evaporated from it. I guess I'm lucky it didn't uh, catch fire or explode. Ooh, that's like tar in there. How the heck am I going to clean that up? Sometimes you just want to throw your glassware away and start over. Yeah. Alright, well that was an interesting result. 
and by the way, I did get my beaker clean. Fortunately, that black tarry stuff, whatever it was, was mostly water soluble, so it came right out of there. Um, I have a theory about what might have happened. I did use urea to denox the stuff before I dropped the silver out of it, or before I cemented the silver out of it. So I'm wondering if uh, it looked like that black stuff looked like there was something organic in there. So I imagine. My theory about what happened was as the liquid got more concentrated, the ferric nitrate in there broke down, released a lot of um, nitrogen dioxide energetically. It probably had a little bit of a thermal runaway. It reacted with the urea and created that tarry stuff. Probably drove the thermal runaway faster because it's organic in there and there's carbon and hydrogen. That's my theory. I don't know. Um, I still have this stuff from the other beaker. This stuff seems pretty stable. So I will hold on to this and in the future we'll try making some uh, nitric acid out of it. I'll put it in my distillation setup and see if we can uh, get either some nitric acid or a whole lot of nitrogen dioxide gas out of it which I can bubble through water and make nitric acid. Either way, I think it's going to be fairly dilute nitric acid. I don't think I'm going to get the uh, the nearly 100% stuff I get when I no set, normally set up my distillation apparatus and use uh, uh, sodium nitrate and uh, concentrated um, sulfuric acid. So, But any will be useful. And I have a lot more of these mixed nitrate salts that I can uh, evaporate down in the future. So that may become an ongoing project. So watch for more videos along these lines in the future as I continue to try to uh, reprocess my own waste products into new useful products that I can reuse to keep my costs down and reduce my waste flow. So keep an eye out for future videos along these lines. We'll see how well it goes with some of these projects. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video a little bit interesting. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Uh, subscribe to see future videos. And check out my second channel, ElectroGeek64. Um, check out that channel. Subscribe to it too to help the channel grow. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.